This is a video about NICAT batteries and rejuvenating them. Um, as an example I've got two of these batteries. They are not working anymore, they don't charge, etc. So first thing we have to do is to get to the cells. I have taken these out. Um, don't think it's going to be easy. You are doing a lot of hacking to really open up the casing and still keep it intact. As you can see, this one was really not too easy. It was glued together, so it's kind of hard opening it. But you'll get to it. And let me tell you what I'm going to do. You can see the cells, the individual cells. This one has uh, only 8, providing us 9.6 volt. And um, I gave this a charge yesterday. Uh, I gave it a 12 volt uh, charge, even though it's a little bit too much. But anyway, I did it only for 5 to 10 minutes and I, le I left the voltmeter on it and I could see it running down to zero volts in no time. So, n well, next day they were completely empty. And I know how to deal with it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to rejuvenate these cells one at a time. I will have to find a way to access the, the plus and the minus, of course, so I can give them a boost. And the way I'm going to do this uh, each cell is going to get two boosts, a current boost and a voltage boost, if I may call it that way. The current boost is that I'm going to provide up to 5 or maybe 10 amps for a short period, like uh, a second or so, and several times I'm going to tap it with, well I will use my super caps, but you can use to regular cells working, so they provide 2.4 volts or the about, and tap the uh, bad cell with it a couple of times. And the idea is to break up any crystals that are inside, which need to be broken so there is no shortcut. And the next phase, and maybe these phases will go um, one after another, and maybe repetitive. Uh, S several times because they don't rejuvenate the first time. Sorry, back to the second phase. The second phase is the voltage um, process. Well, I I'm just going to give it some um, back EMF peak voltages from a relay which is going to be on and off very quickly. So the back EMF is going to spike into an in individual cell giving it a high voltage boost um, hopefully to break down even more crystals which are on the places where they shouldn't be. Then you give it a charge for a longer period, uh, not a high charge, not a high amperage of course. Uh, give it a test, look uh, how it behaves and repeat the same process a couple of times if needed and see if the cell starts to accept a charge after a while. If you keep this package as it is, you can then put it back into the original casing and use it again for your drill, your flashlight, whatever it is used for. Um, uh, and you can also, like what I'm doing regularly, just uh, cut off all these uh, parts in between and make uh, separate cells, so you can use them for any project you like. Uh, creating a 12 volt battery with these things is very easy, and like this one here, it already comes in a 12 volt fashion. Now, 1.3 amps isn't that much, but NICAT do have the property to be able to give uh, good current when you need it. So, yeah, they come in handy. 
Um, this one is for another time because I've got uh, several of these um, battery packs uh, which are no longer in use. Um, they were thrown away. So I'm just going to try and find out if I can make them usable again. And if so, well, you will see them later in different projects. This is part one and have a look out for part number two. Thanks for watching.